Mullen Automotive just announced insane solid-state polymer battery test results. Mullen Automotive has been working on a solid-state polymer battery for a long time and its results are out. So would you like to know about it? Can these results change the future of the EV market? Well, for the answer, you'll have to watch the video till the end. And folks, not only this, but later in the video, we'll also analyze the impact of these results on the Mullen stock price. So, welcome to eMotion. Today's video is going to be really informative, so make sure you pay close attention to the video. Without further ado, let's begin. For starters, let's discuss what exactly is solid-state polymer battery technology. A typical commercial battery cell is made up of the following components, cathode, anode, separator, and electrolyte. One of the most successful commercial batteries to date is based on lithium-ion technology, which has been in use since 1991. However, their global success and dissemination in consumer electronics and electric vehicles cannot mask their inherent limits in terms of safety, performance, and form factor. The majority of commercial lithium-ion systems use a liquid electrolyte containing lithium salts such as LiPF6, LiBF4, or LiCiO4 in an organic solvent. However, the effective conductance is limited by the Solid Electrolyte Interface, or SEI, which is caused by electrolyte decomposition at the negative electrode. Furthermore, expensive membranes are required to separate the cathode and anode, as well as an impermeable casing to prevent leaking. As a result, the size and design freedom of these batteries are limited. Furthermore, because they use flammable and corrosive liquids, liquid electrolytes pose safety and health concerns. Samsung's Firegate and dozens of EV combustions have exposed the risks that even huge corporations face when using flammable liquid electrolytes. Solid-state electrolytes have the potential to address all of these issues, notably in the markets for electric vehicles, wearables, and drones. In the 1970s, they were used as the primary batteries for pacemakers, with a sheet of lithium metal in contact with solid iodine. The two materials react as if they were a short-circuited cell, resulting in the creation of a lithium iodide layer at their surface. For several years after the lithium iodide layer has formed, a very modest, continuous current can still flow from the lithium anode to the iodine cathode. In 2011, researchers from Toyota and the Tokyo Institute of Technology claimed the discovery of a sulfide-based substance with the same ionic conductivity as a liquid electrolyte, which was inconceivable just a decade before. They were able to double that value five years later, making solid-state electrolytes appealing for high-power applications and quick charging. Until recently, we have heard several ideas that solid-state batteries would be used in EVs within a few years. These discoveries and interests have fueled research and investment in new categories of materials and energy storage technologies that have the potential to quadruple present lithium-ion energy densities. Both the electrodes and the electrolytes in solid-state batteries are solid-state. The solid-state electrolyte generally also acts as a separator, allowing for downscaling due to the elimination of certain components, e.g. separator and casing. As a result, they may be thinner, more flexible, and hold more energy per unit weight than standard lithium-ion batteries. Furthermore, the removal of liquid electrolytes can lead to safer, longer-lasting batteries because they are more resistant to temperature changes and physical damage caused by usage. Solid-state batteries can withstand more charge-discharge cycles before deterioration, implying a longer lifespan. Now, it's time to discuss solid-state polymer battery test results. Molin Automotive's solid-state polymer battery cell testing exceeds previously indicated values of 300 amp-hours at 3.7 volts, according to results from India's Battery Innovation Center. BIC testing reveals remarkable findings of 343.28 amp-hours at 4.2 volts for Molin's solid-state polymer battery cell, which are consistent with prior EV grid results. This study validates solid-state polymer battery cell technology, which can give over 600 miles of range on a full charge for the Molin 5 EV crossover when scaled to the vehicle pack level at a 150 kilowatt-hour equivalent. I'm thrilled with the Solid State Cell's ongoing performance after numerous hard testing sessions from certified testing institutions, stated David Mitchery, CEO and Chairman of Mullen Automotive. The battery has performed admirably, and I'm thrilled with the BIC results in India. We are glad to find that the results of ongoing testing match those previously reported, said Ben Reitzman, President and CEO of Battery Innovation Center. 
The cell has performed as expected thus far, and we will continue to test more parameters to describe the overall capabilities and performance. The company's hiring of key new employees and inclusion of the Russell 2000 and Russell 3000 indexes may have been tailwinds for the stock, but the stock's perception as a short-term money-making instrument amid tightening credit conditions in the US and abroad is expected to become headwinds, dragging the price down. Let's have a look at Mullen Automotive stock analysis and price history. Mullen Automotive stock has dropped 75% year-to-date from a high of $5.26 on the 3rd of January 2022 to $1.28 at the time of writing on the 9th of June. Mullen has been steadily declining since it debuted on the NASDAQ stock exchange on November 5th, 2021 at $12.99. The NASDAQ composite, where the stock is traded, fell slightly more than 22% during the same time period, demonstrating the EV market stock's bigger drop. Mullen Automotive's Latest Earnings Report Mullen Automotive's financial statements for the quarter ending in 31st of March 2022 revealed that the EV manufacturer's total assets increased 138.4% to slightly over $100 million, owing primarily to the firm's financing activity. The company's cash and cash equivalents were $65.2 million, owing largely to the $43.9 million received from the insurance of 4.97 million Series C preferred stock and 14.92 million in associated warrants to the selling stockholders listed in the S3 registration statement, which became effective on April 15th. Mullen Automotive also received $29.6 million in net revenues from the $30 million Isuya equity line tailwinds that may push the Mullen stock. First, the company's appointment of new key hires may benefit the Mullen stock price. On May 17th, the firm announced a number of new hirings across its product engineering, production, vehicle integration, and thermal systems departments in California and Mississippi. Mullen Automotive President of Worldwide Operations, named Richard Curtis, was president of Imperium Motor Company and a turnaround specialist for the Lithia Automotive Group in three western states. His more than 35 years of automotive experience, as well as his work with large dealer groups and worldwide original equipment manufacturers, are expected to provide the electric car maker with a level of global understanding. Second, the company's inclusion in the Russell 2000 and Russell 3000 indexes on June 27th is likely to benefit the company by making its shares more accessible to investors. According to a news release issued on June 6th, the company will be automatically added to the appropriate growth in value indices. Mullen's stock continues to rise on battery excitement. The results showed better than expected performance compared to the baseline upon which these batteries were being tested. For those excited about the potential impact solid-state batteries could have on the EV sector and the electrification trend, this is a big deal. Faster charging times, better safety, and higher performance are key reasons the market has looked to this technology as a real growth avenue for so long. Seeing progress in action is encouraging to those who believe this could be just around the corner. While it may be too soon to tell how scalable these batteries are, for now, we know how they work. It's expected that at scale, battery packs containing these solid-state batteries could increase the range of an EV to about 600 miles. That would potentially usher in a wave of new EV buyers, creating another tailwind for a sector that has been lackluster thus far in 2022. Alright guys, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed this video and want to watch more videos like this, then hit the subscribe button and ring the bell icon so that you'll never miss any updates.